All right, man. So Chance the Rapper has broken up with his wife, Gersten. They met back in 2013. They dated on and off. They decided to get married in 2019. Yo, here's the thing. 2019 is the worst, or it was the worst year for anybody to start a relationship or to get married. Most of those pandemic marriages or relationships that I know have not been successful. Yo, those relationships came with virus. And that's why it can't last because the virus is killing everything. That's why they've been broken up. Pandemic brought a lot of babies, a lot of relationships. People not supposed, were not supposed to be together. Since the pandemic was there, they ain't got no shit to do. They're like, fuck it. I just got to stick with this nigga, man. Ah, fuck it. I'm going to stick with this bitch. All right, man. Fuck it. I need sex because nothing's going on. Ain't working. I ain't gonna be jerking off all day. I need me some booties. Shit. The bitch is like, yo, I need me some niggas. Them deal ain't gonna be gonna be out of batteries. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I need me some niggas. So most of the relationships yeah, haven't been successful. I don't know why. I believe it's because of, you know, the virus and the pandemic 2019, man. So chance the rapper and um wife, ex-wife, I'll say. No, I mean divorce is still in process. They're not together. It's always the one that shows us like, oh, things are perfect, man. It, they kept it very quiet. They were off social media for the most part. They went, you know, you never heard about them on the news, never heard about them on blogs, all that. They were super quiet. You know, we thought things were perfect. I thought things were perfect, but hey, man, the house you don't leave, you never know where the water leaks, right? So, it seems like they have been going on to some real shit. They have been separated for over a little bit over a year the whole time. So that means, you know, Chance was getting Chance was getting no ass from her. Nothing. <laughs> he, he was not smashing. They got two kids, two daughters, seven and four. And um, you know, they've been separated for a long time, man. A long time. One year is something. That's something. So and I was shocked too. What I was shocked because I remember a year ago, as I was scrolling to my IG, I saw this picture here. I might read this in a few. This is what I saw, right? I saw, oh man, look at them. Look at them. They look so cute together. You see? Christmas vibe, two kids. You know, the wife smiling. They look pretty happy. I mean, this is 2015, anyways. But uh, they, you no, know, they were doing that thing. They were doing that thing. Right? That was before they get married. I mean, sometimes I wish they didn't get married because it seems like sometimes marriage. When people get married, they just they don't last anymore. When you stay in a relationship for so long and you decided to get married, man, it's a wrap, man. I don't know why does he do. But um, yeah, there was this picture. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, it's a video. So this was in Jamaica. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you um. It's people from Jamaica. I mean, change the rapid people from Jamaica. I believe so. Because, you know, he's more attached to that land. That's why he goes there for a carnival. That shit. But I might be wrong. Anyways, um, so this was him. And, oh, man, you can tell this ass is far as a motherfucker. All right, anyways, but um, that was, um, this was uh, Chance the Rapper. And I, I saw this video. It was like a bunch of clips, right? A bunch of clips. Maybe three or four or whatever. I was like, dang, this nigga's grinding on this bitch ass like that. She had, he has a wife. Like, I know he has a wife. I questioned myself a little bit around that time. I was like, ah, maybe, maybe something's going on. But I didn't get, you know, I didn't look into that deep like that. And now I came to realize the nigga was in the ass from his wife. Nigga wanted something new. Then this house was fine. So. That's so you know the nigga, you know, he probably was already checked out. The wife was already probably checked out. They were separated. You know, they were not communicating like that. You know, the, the spiciness got out of the relationship. And I, 
you know, the juiciness or the sexiness. Oh, I love you forever. None, none of that was been saying no more. Oh, you my everything. None of that anymore. That shit's bullshit. Sometimes it's bullshit. Most of the time, actually, it's bullshit. So I noticed that, that that's what happened. But um, one thing they didn't mention why. I, this one seems like. I know, I know this nigga has cheated before. He's thirty, she's thirty. They both super young. I don't know. I mean, this, I don't know why you you want to marry someone who's around, you know, who's the same age as you. At least, as a man, do at least three, maybe five, max eight years younger than you. I mean, same age, man. I know chance makes money, which makes a little bit of difference, but still, man, you know, you don't want to be fifty. You imagine you're fifty or your bitch is fifty, man. Shit. I get it. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. But you know, you prefer a little younger. You know, it, it gives a little bit something. It puts a little bit of sauce in the relationship. But anyway, so they are they've been separated. So she posted it. Man, the thing about people, I don't know why these people been posting shit on IG. Like IG was the judge. Now Instagram is like news outlets for people. Let me read it. Oh, IG, IG, Mark Zuckerberg, nigga. All right, so after a period of separation, like I said, they were separated already. No cheeks, right? No ass was being clapped or no more. All right, the two of us have arrived at the decision to part ways. We came to the we came to this decision amicably and with gratitude. For the time we spent together, God has blessed us with two beautiful daughters who will who we will continue to raise together. We kindly ask for privacy and respect as we navigate this transition. Bitch, what the fuck are you asking us for privacy for? You should have been posted it. You posting and you asking for privacy? No, the internet doesn't work like that. We don't want privacy. Now we're going to go digging. Now we're going to go dig deeper to see what really, really happened. If y'all were just quiet, not saying nothing, we just keep wondering, are they together? Are they not together? Are they together? I mean, you don't have to hide it. I get it. But you asking us to I ask for privacy. The fact that you already put out there, he ain't got privacy no more. Anything's gonna be private if you don't put it out there for the public. Whenever you put out there for the public, he ain't private no more. And the public, as you guys are, you guys are public figures. The public would like to know because we know it like that. We would love to know what really happened. So stop saying privacy. Privacy, respect. Yeah, we can respect that, but you won't get your privacy because you violated your privacy yourself already. Another thing I want to talk about amicably, man, fuck that shit, man. Yeah, just not broke amicably. No, somebody wanted it. There's always someone who wanted it first, and the other one was like, nah, I don't really want it. Here. Until you start pushing it, and then the other one be like, fuck it, let's just get a divorce. I, I want it too now. That's how it happens. Amicably. Man. Divorce never been amicably. Most of the time, man. Divorce is always messy. Divorce is always like, nah, I don't know. You didn't that shit. You did that shit. I didn't do it. You should have done it. Ah, I don't need shit no more. I'm tired of this shit. I don't want this no more. I don't want to be, I want to be out. That's how divorce happens most of the time. It's not amicable. Amicable is like, yo, man. Oh man, we be dating for ten years. Oh yeah, baby, ten years. Oh my God, that's great. You know what? We should just divorce, right? Yeah, let's do it. Things agree between us, but we just gonna get divorced. That's amicably. When there's a feud, or like I'll say, like uh, people arguing, fighting, man, it doesn't have to be physically. But that's not amicable anymore. That means something went wrong and one person checked out. Two people don't check out at the same time. 
No, this always majority of the time, not in a point nine, it's gonna be one who's gonna check out first. And the one who's gonna check that first, that's the who that that's the one who's going to ask for a divorce first. I don't think y'all came at the same time. 945, 940 stuff, 945, looking at each other like, let's get a divorce at the same time. No. Someone came with the idea, like, yo, maybe we should get a divorce because things are working out. And then the other one might be like, you're right, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you want, I don't care. It's always something about. Hopefully, you know, the kids are well. I mean, they'll be well. Change has money. I mean, it's not all about the money. It's about timing, too. But, uh, yeah, we, we're going to give respect about privacy, man. Yeah, just don't put it out there. You know, if you put it out there, we, you know, don't ask for privacy. So, um, yeah, we're we going to just wait and see. Eventually, you know, eventually we're going to find out what was the real reason. You know, usually it's about... Oh, he cheated so many times. I gave him a lot of chances, but he didn't listen. He's young. He makes money. All the women want him. He couldn't control his dick no more. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, most likely that's going to be. Or maybe irreconcilable was the differences. There was some, which I think is some bullshit when people say that. I mean, as grown as grown ups, yeah, I should be able to reconciliate how can i say reconciliate yeah your differences but um yeah we're just gonna wait and see man other than that i'll catch you next time man uh, i'm out